You talking about Armani Blunt from the next class, or are you talking about um, what's his face who moved down here from California? Um, what was it T.A. Cunningham or T.K. and his brother R.K. or something like that? Um, Armani Blunt because he went to Dillard for a couple of years. Um, that's a guy who you know is a twenty-five recruit, so he's not in this current class, but is has been at the top of the list uh, in terms of 25ers for uh, Miami, even from his time when he was at Dillard. And, you know, Miami actually recently did fairly well recruiting Dillard until Blunt. Okay, yeah. So I'm um, looking at that. But uh, <clears throat> that's – I mean, he had like, what, six sacks in their preseason or kickoff classic <laughs> last weekend. So uh, didn't forget how to play football since he moved from Central Fort Lauderdale to Central Miami uh, for high school. But uh, – yeah, no, that's a kid who everybody's going to be after. Miami's been heavy on the trail because, again, have recruited several guys that he played with, guys like Nigel e. Kelly, guys like Anton Jackson. I know that he ended up flipping and chasing his little girlfriend to go to East Carolina, um, but, you know, Miami had recruited uh, several guys, you know, uh, from Dillard, so they had been around, a known name, obviously, in those uh, – at that school in that, in those halls uh, and everything. So uh, had started to build that relationship there. And then like, we have more than a few players on the team from Miami central as well. So Miami will continue to push for him. Um, maybe if we're talking about it in the same way as Cam Franklin from before, it would be wise to just, we're just going to allocate that player to Jason Taylor. I don't care if he plays inside or outside, you know, Joe, we're going to, we're going to have you focus on other guys and we're just going to have Jason and all of the other staffers who have relationships at central uh, leverage those relationships in that recruitment. Thanks. <laughs>